Video game bosses can be scary, extremely powerful, or downright disgusting. The video game bosses in this video are so nasty that they have scarred us for life. These vile creatures have physically revolted us to the point of skipping lunch and dinner. Here are 10 extremely disgusting video game bosses. So what shall it be? Do you join the unity or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. The master from the first Fallout game looks more like a piece of roadkill than the creator and leader of a race of super mutants. This biomechanical nightmare represents John Carpenter's wet dream. It's body horror depicted in video game graphics from the 90s. In true Fallout fashion, we don't have to fight him, as you can also use your words instead of your weapons. But it cannot be. This would mean that all my work has been for nothing. Everything that I've tried to a, a failure. It can't be. Can be. However, we suggest you kill this mutated piece of filth. Some things are just too ugly to live. The Resident Evil series has its fair share of disgusting monsters. Lepotitia from Resident Evil 6 is definitely one of the more nasty ones. This slimy boss has gaping sacks all over its fat body. It's also very toxic and likes to spray gas on anyone who stands too close. Weirdly enough, its name comes from the Serbian word Lepotitia which is used to describe feminine beauty. <laughs> WarioWare Twisted is full of pretty disgusting minigames. It even has a boss battle devoted to picking your nose. We need to fire hand missiles to the nose to block its sinuses. After successfully blocking the nose holes, the pupils from the eyes slide away, revealing an even bigger, hairier nose. Luckily, you get some upgrades too and are able to punch him with your extended robot arms. Who thought someone would make a multi-stage boss fight about picking a nose? We admire the developers for their creativity, but it's still gross. Plotto weaves the thread of life for every mortal god and titan. Find your thread and you will be able to control the mirrors of the fates. Clotho from God of War 2 is pretty much a giant beast. A sickly green beast with tentacles and more breasts. She's so fat that you have to climb multiple stages to finally reach her bald head. The battle itself is a really cool fight with many brutal quick time events. You will never control your friend, she isn't that dangerous and you can see her attacks coming from a mile away. However, you will want to dispatch of this overwhelming monstrosity as quickly as possible, so you can look at nice things again. We were very happy to end the battle by impaling her head on a giant blade. Just like Resident Evil, the Silent Hill universe is also full of disturbing creatures. Asphyxia is the one that haunts our dreams to this day. This human centipede will revolt even the most hardcore gamer. It's one of the grossest enemy designs we have ever seen, and you can't wait to put it out of its misery. She is the manifestation of Margaret Holloway's memories of her daughter whom she strangled. This was a sacrifice to maintain the pact with the Order and their God. Fighting a living pile of female bodies is creepy, to say the least. I am 
the great mighty poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. Conker's Bad Fur Day is full of toilet humor, and therefore a cult classic on the Nintendo 64. It even features a singing piece of shit in the form of the great mighty poo. Its teeth are made of sweet corn, which is just gross when you think about it. Sweet corn is the only thing that makes it through my rear. How do you think I keep this lovely grin? The objective in this boss fight is to pick up toilet rolls and toss them at the revolting creature. You also need to avoid the poo bombs that it throws. It does have a remarkable good singing voice and lots of personality. However, we are glad to flush it down the sinkhole from which it came. <laughs> now that's what I call a bowel movement. We have to mention the Resident Evil series again because they gave us the nightmare that is William Birkin. This scientist injects himself with the G-Virus after which he keeps on transforming. His first few forms just make him look like the ugly brother of the Hulk. However, after several stages, he really becomes an absolute monstrosity. This parasitic larvae with rows and rows of teeth and eyes is extremely nasty. Fighting the shapeless blob is definitely a challenge, but you do have to put William out of his suffering. The Last of Us has some scary enemies with their molded skin and fungus sprouted heads. Bloaters are the final stage of this parasitic evolution. These powerful enemies serve as mini bosses throughout the game. The bloater is a scarred giant covered in blooming growths. It comes as no surprise that fighting it is very difficult. We have to watch out for toxic sacks and keep your distance because it's unbelievably strong. Especially on higher difficulty settings, the bloater can be a real pain in the ass. Jeez, what was up with that big guy? He's just been infected for a long time. We call him bloaters. Leave it to South Park to shock gamers with a giant Nazi zombie fetus. This boss can be found in the South Park abortion clinic. Its main attack is to vomit on everything that stands in its way. Its umbilical cord can be used as both a powerful whip and a source of health. You need to cut it off if you want to survive this frightening ordeal. Feel my righteous fury! In the end, you discover it's actually the aborted child of MTV star Khloe Kardashian. How nasty is that? You don't understand! Khloe Kardashian was in here this morning. She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen. The brain of Mensis from Bloodborne is definitely the weakest boss in this video. However, it is the most disgusting thing we've ever encountered in a game. It is essentially a large version of the Winter Lantern enemy, though without a body. This brain is a mass of decaying tissue, bulging eyeballs, wiry black hair, and other gory bits. You need to drop it from its tower, after which it lies broken and helpless in the abyss. The brain is incapable of attacking the hunter in any way, so you can choose to spare its life. We think it's better to put it out of its misery, though. Do you know any other disgusting video game bosses? Let us know in the comments and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. A huge supply of fish comes from my chocolate starfish. How about some statue, little twat?